Okay, let's get this thing started. Now I made one of these hobo tuna can wax stoves a long time ago. I mean, more or less, I made a video on how to make one of these things, but I never in the video showed, well, using it. I don't know why I did. I don't remember if I did and I just didn't use the footage or whatever the case is. So somebody kind of reminded me of that recently, left a comment saying, hey, you know what? You never show you using it. And then somebody else left a comment saying that I used incredibly too much wax on this thing to where it was more of a candle than a stove. And I do, I, I overfill these things to where, well, it's gonna take a little bit to burn down to where it's gonna burn like this. And for me, that's fine from when I'm using these things. But if you're, you know, I guess hiking, you don't want to waste that time waiting for the wax to burn down so that it can actually start using all the cardboard to wick the wax up and such. But anyways, before this thing gets going too much, Let's uh, see if we can boil some water today in here. Now, I definitely don't recommend doing this at home. I definitely don't recommend doing this indoors like this, because this is probably gonna be disastrous. But, how much does it take to get a bottle of water going? To boil, you know what I mean? Shouldn't take too long. Yeah, however long it takes for water to boil, a couple minutes. Uh, do I have this thing centered? I can't tell. Not so much centered. Just so that it's not gonna fall. I mean, you look at that flame under there, it looks like you're cooking on a, a real stove, so it's not gonna take long at all for this stuff to boil. And I mean, I, I do this normally outside by the campfire, not indoors in my studio. This is kind of reckless, this is kind of stupid. Do not try this at home, definitely use caution. I don't know about you, but I can sit here and watch these flames dance around for quite some time. I guess that's, you know, part of the benefit of having a campfire and part of the enjoyment of it. Now, if I put this right on the flame itself, eh, getting, jumping all over the place, but maybe like 350 or so. And if I put it right on the bottom of the pot, mm, we'll call it 463 in the pot and it shouldn't be too much difference with the water 122 for the water and it's all fahrenheit because well i'm in the states i can see little bubbles forming already in there so that's a good sign you got some steam coming up this thing's gonna be boiling in no time my wife isn't gonna be happy because i'm getting soot all over the pot i mean you're burning you know cardboard and wax it's gonna be sooty it's probably gonna be a mess in here as well i shouldn't have done this indoors i should have done it outside but it's like one degree outside, not too cold. I don't know what it is with the wind chill, but I just, I didn't feel like going outside today to try to do this. That's why we're indoors. Yeah, I'm getting, this is a mess. 160 shouldn't be too much longer. Ah, oh, man, this would have been a good, I gotta watch when I'm breathing here. This would have been a good time. My wife wanted me to do a video on a watched pot never boils. Like, I'm supposed to do a video of me watching a pot boil, and then do a video of just the camera watching the pot boil, and then do a split screen and see which one boils faster. I could do that, but I mean, it's just the saying, you know what's gonna, they're gonna boil at the same time if the variables are all the same. Nothing is really gonna change. It's kind of like, you know, does a falling tree in the wood, no, does it, does it, What's the other one? The tree falls in the woods and it doesn't make any sound? Or does a tree falling in the woods make a sound? Yeah, well it does. If you're not around to hear it, it still makes a sound. You know, I mean, it's just, you know, one of those things you can think about, but in reality, it's making a sound. This pot is dirty now, it's all sooty. 173, getting bigger bubbles. I mean, we're, we're boiling water today, right? But we're really testing this thing out. The other benefit to these little hobo stoves, if that's what you want to call them, I don't know what they're exactly called or where they came from and who thought of the original idea and such, but you can add more fuel to these things, whether it be wax or maybe some sort of fat or even maybe a little bit of cooking oil or something like that. You can put more fuel in there and it's still gonna burn. It's not like you're just burning cardboard. It's helping it. You're burning the fuel, essentially. Now granted, over time, the cardboard will burn down and there's gonna be nothing left, but oh, we're starting to get a little bit of a boil there. A little bit. Let's say it's a low boil. 
187. This is a low boil. I consider this a, uh, you know, a success. Definitely cook some food well enough to, uh, well, get a low boil and some water to purify it, sterilize it and all that stuff and kill anything that might be in the water if you were in some type of uh, emergency survival situation. Or if you're just backpacking and it, it's winter and you just wanted some way to make a meal in case you didn't find you know, dry firewood and such, so this will definitely work. You know what I mean? I'm gonna link this to my old video of how to make these things and link the old video to this one as well. Just, you know, look in the description, look on the screen somewhere at some point. And we're pretty much done for today, so I'll see you on the next one. And again, use caution if you're gonna do something like this. Especially if you're gonna do something like this in a tent, which I wouldn't recommend. Or indoors, which I wouldn't recommend. Or just be safe, be smart, you know, use some common sense. All right, let's shut this thing down. Uh oh, uh oh, that's not gonna fit. All right, oh, hot hands, hot hands. Oh, hi, hot hands, hot hands. Yeah, use a lighter to push it. That's even smarter. Okay, whew, man. You gotta clear this out now. Wow, I've made a mess. Oh man, this is hot now. What do I do with this stuff? I got waste of water. I got some ramen. I think I might. All right, I'll see you on the next one.